evening guys we're just gonna do a wee look I'll carry on looking at the Sherman Hill add-on which is on train sim world 2 I had one earlier on I was doing it a wee bit earlier on I was like Ooh. it wasn't moving it eventually started moving so I think we're gonna get a lot of that and this, I think we're going to get, is, is the train actually moving? Is it going to move? Because I think that's part of the, the actual game itself, just the way it works. All right, so let's get ourselves to where we were roughly. All right, so we're here. We've got this new, this other one here. From Laramie to Hamosa, we've got we've got this to do. This is what we started in. I started it actually eventually got it started moving, and then I had to go away and do something else. So I'll click on there. I don't know if this will continue from me actually moving or if I'm going to start from the very beginning again. I'll find out because me starting to move took an eternity, yep, we're back to we were just gonna try and get the train to to shift his butt. Hmm? I could hear you muttering away, I wonder what you were doing if you going back to train. Uh, that's why I'm muttering away. Right, there we go. Cool. Let's try and remember what we meant to do. We don't want that on trail we want on lead. Press, press the button, Dave. No, they're not. That's it. It's a cut in. As I was reading on the wee screen, this is the kind of important bits. Read on the screen what's happening. Lights are on. Cool. The lights are on already. We we'll only need to put the reverse of handle in. We'll zip it to forward. Now, what I'm going to do. Put this on. Because it's a relatively level piece of ground. Release that, the automatic brake. And he comes it. We need to do that. Because it is a very mighty long train. There's something they said, uh, even if it's not snowing, you probably still need a whole lot of sand. So we need to let this sort of build up a wee bit. Let's have a wee look all into the train. There's it on, there's it on the map there. That's the start of the train. I'm still going. And there's the other end. Right, so we've comes to it. There's a bit of a trick to get it all the way out there. I had a bit of throttle. Like that, and build up. You don't want it too high or we're just going to have issues getting wheel spin. Oh, 
Our horn's working. I'm just trying to see if we're going to be more successful than the last set. I'm trying to leave that a little bit. Because the last time I've done it, it was like a rubber band. It started moving and it went back, rolls it rolling backwards. I've done it at slower speed and it seemed to actually get it moving better. It, it wasn't wheel spinning so much. I'll just give you an idea of the length of the train. While well, the train thinks about moving. This, and I think this is kind of the... I have revved them up before and then just got it going and then drop it to once it's going, got it's going so rev up to four so basically gives you an idea of the length of the, the train once it gives that initial shunt see if we can Down to two, it, it, it worked the last time. Now, the problem is, is my movement going backwards or it going forwards? Mm, then we rev up. We can notice that when we get there, we can find out that the, the trains at the back are actually doing what they're meant to be doing, giving us a bit of a shove. This is what happened the last time, it just kind of, then it eventually just kind of went, it just started moving. And I think it's the same for everybody. See, we're still going. We're up to four. Don't over -re rev it too much. I just want to see if the, the actual trains at the back were trying to do its thing. As I'm rolling backwards with that one. Uh, it's released yet, yeah, I'm just making sure. Still going. You need at least up to four to get a kind of get it moving. done this before just give it a big hoof and then drop the throttle and uh, kind of try to jar it forward I was thinking about it eh? ah, fly or some buzzing bast You see if the train's doing anything on this end. They're certainly trying. You can tell by the wheels of this.
So it doesn't look like this is actually doing it, doing anything. I had the same problem every the last time. Just trying to get the train to move with it. They are trying. That wheel was spinning. And load up screen for it. This is uh, this is what it was like the last time. Is like, it like a rubber band effect or something? <coughs> Just kept rolling back. Ro it's almost like rocking it back and forward to try and get it going. And then eventually, it seemed to get going. Come on. Right. I think once you get over a mile an hour, it actually seems to then start moving. There we go. Right. We're not on that track, thankfully. We're going, we're moving, we're moving. I load up screen for the the train. We're moving, guys. Yes. So it gives you an idea of the size the trains are in this game. And you need load up screens to get to the other end. I was like that, I was getting frustrated myself earlier on and I, and I just thought I can't get this thing to move and eventually got it to move I was like, yes! It was almost like rocking it back and forward seemed to seemed to almost get it going. Uh, something in the way stopping it. Let's get the front of the train. No wonder the like the older consoles are gonna struggle by the way, just a the sheer amount of things going on in it. The silly amount of freak. 
This is don't give you a time in which you're meant to be there for. Uh, at least we're getting there. We're getting in front of the train. I was say we saw where I was on the map, where the front of my train was, and where the rear of the train is. I thought the thing was broken. I thought I'd done something wrong. But it's almost like being patient with it. And you really need to be seriously patient with it to get it moving. What would this be like doing it in the snow? I really don't know. I just like absolutely bonkers. Trying at Sherman Hill in, in the snow. Now, there's, basically we want two routes here, it gives you, because it splits off, going this way, or this way. I don't know if it just depends which depot they're going to, or what, or if it's just, that seems like a single track, and it's doubled. Let's get catch up with the engine. Very nice sky. I like that, the sky. The light, lighting in the sky is really, really nice. Cool. I was here. Happy days. We've, we've got we've got the train up and running. Now I'm not going to worry too much. But I don't I don't deny it. There is a lot of popping. In, in, in artifacts basically getting loaded up and even on the PS5 so it just shows you how much there's actually on the go we've got four, four engines at the front two at the back now we don't need the belt we can turn the belt off where's the belt there's the bells the bells which one's the bell what's the horn Bail off. There's a bell constantly on the go. I thought I turned it off. Maybe it's one of the other trains. This is another button. I say bell off, didn't it? It's acknowledgement for and the more lights on the go. Very nice. What do you think, guys? Oh, this is actually a very nice com combo. We just got another week 48. There we go. More throttle in there because we hit more and more of the trains now joining the hill. And we're allowed to go faster anyway.
maximum speed I think is 40 ish It's not really one for you know be tearing up the the police. We more oomph. Keep it going. So wiper blades. And the wipers today were all all good. But it's nice to know where they are. Cab light on. And another one over there. It's nice to know where things are. I don't time of year is this, but it looks as if it could be quite warm. We're cooling ourselves down. I notice as well for about not to have the, the on too long. Don't have it longer than two hours. The maximum speed seventy mile an hour. Going up the hill, I think that would be quite difficult. Down the hill, on the other side, might be different than kettle of fish. Stopping it going seventy mile an hour. I know it's kind of like a scenery of nothing, but I think that's what this area is like. It's just wide open space. We're coming down there. I'm not sure how long the full route will take, but we'll see what happens when we get on the, on the next next one. We'll do do this, and we'll probably do the next one, and that probably be more than enough to satisfy you. We can jam it and jam in the middle. That's actually really good though. Textures are not too bad. As I say, I'm not sure how long it's meant to take the, the whole thing, but I think the pro it's once you get going is different. I think that's what people will get frustrated at the beginning just to get going and I think once it gets going it's getting it stopped <clears throat> I don't think we've got any downhill bits but we've got the dynamic braking on anyway So it looks like it's another kind of yard or something here. It's quite long, I think. We can check the schedule, eh? We can check, check. Yep, schedule is get to there, don't go any further. There's obviously not millions, exactly millions of. Uh, stations on it or yards to stop off I think it's just like cruise and relax so 
I don't think there's any passenger stations at all. I think they're all just pure cargo. I think the whole thing's just pure cargo. I don't know what it's like. A you couldn't you just go along and decide to put a, a cargo line, a, a passenger train on it? I'm not sure if there's like platforms to actually pull it into. Something's stuck there. Is that the hill start? Is that the hill start? There's obviously a scenario starting there because there's a wee, the wee blue icon. Hill start was on the other side. Because you get over the top of Sherman Hill and then uh, you have to make sure you don't go too fast. This is not going to reach the top of Sherman Hill. I might do this and then do another one and then we'll call it quits. This is just a get a really good look at the scenery, I think. <laughs> How many telegraph poles are there? But it's, it's all good fun. I, I like these games because if you want to relax and chill, that's what it's all about. And if you if you want to, uh, guys, if you like my videos, hit a like and subscribe me if you don't mind. Every little helps the ch bit helps the channel. As I say, really nice actually when you go out. This is it, look. Just look at the length of the train. So long you can't see the end of it. It sort of disappears into the background. It's just that long. I like this game actually. It's, it's, it's got a, a good, nice bit of detail in it. It's cool. We've got six engines on it. Yep, if you like if you like what you see guys, hit like and subscribe to the channel. It just gives you a wee really because it bends around the corner how long it is. It's like that when you do sandpad screen. I'm trying to turn the bell off, I don't know how to... I press bell off and it's still going. Because I'm a, I, I do assume that it's on a different train. That is a requirement. Should be shut up or should be bell on? Bell off. I think it's one of the other engines. <laughs> I don't know what the what scenarios they've got in it, but I 
I kind of mention I'm going to mention this because it's mainly because I'm um, from Scotland but one of the routes I would love to see they do have one train simulator can they actually see the end of the train there? Yeah. I think we could just see the, see the end of the train. It was better when it was sneaking around the corner. Try and get another bit where it goes around the corner just to have a, a, have a wee look. Corners come up. back up to six. Five is making it slow down. And again, I'm safe. I mean, the fun that is when they, they give you snow and ice to get around. Right. We'll see what the next scenario give us, gives us. But who thinks it'd be interesting to try to get a, a snowy, icy day? Well, there is, there is that option. Because I think, because it's so high up, they, they do. That's why you have the snow barriers. They get snow. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, it's not Decided on you know, a wee refreshment just while I'm re relaxing with you guys. A small baby sits and I get beer, half babies. I might get asked a bit more. As long as more beer appears, we're, we're all golden. I mean, that is the thing about this uh, area, like, uh, it's just big and wide and open. There's not much in the life. What we need is herds of buffalo going fast or something. Do you get a buffalo in Wyoming? I don't know. Why not? How long it takes me to get get to the other end. Oh. 
thing is, I always thought it was a quick way where the camera would go out to the other end. Let's have a wee look at the... I'll have a look on the... the options when I actually get there. when this one's finished. The thing is, we can't actually, I don't think we can zoom in quite far enough, but what it says on the gauges there, it's what on the side here, the, the brakes, corresponds. store a couple of carriages there and that's about it. So let, let her rip and see, see how well it does it going up the hill. The maximum speed I think is 40 anyway. Uh, these bits there are the fossil, these are fossil bits, they're collectibles. Well, I don't think they're in the all on, but the, I don't know if they're because they went fossils, collectible fossils and there's lots of these stone bits and you may go in, right, is that a fossil? Is that a fossil? You know, it's the wee stones Focal mm -hmm. going like that with the camera going Is that a fossil collectible? It is me grey boxes do. I don't seem to have a notice and I think that I'll lose a one. Something you can make it go ping. Now I'm getting close to the top of the hill now. 10, 10 15 minutes before we I have to stop. How long was it when it's past there and the train's still going past it? Right, I have to watch. I'm not sure this is this, this downhill or still uphill. We're near the top of the hill, that's the thing. I'll show you roughly where the top of Sherman Hill is because you do it in a scenario. roughly about here. Doesn't mean there isn't bits that are head down the way before then but yeah, but I want a lot of nice detail in into the game though. Because the thing is, right, when you do this, I 
We're slowing her down. I've got yellow lights. We're slowing her down, even though we've got 3.8 miles because the length of the train is going to take ages to slow down. Let's be honest, that's the game, that's where this one comes into its own. Controlling the, the speed of your train and making sure you're not. Yeah, you know, I don't want to go stupidly slow, I need to keep some power going. I'm watching, I'm watching my speed, I don't want, I'll put it to five, I'll put it to five. I'll give it a wee bit extra, just to... I, that should stop it from slowing down completely as much. Certainly, I think that's the thing about the game is can see I can look as you could run over there. There's a wee box or something you know, where you could run over in that water. I don't want to find out because I don't want to try and start the train up again to get her moving. Find myself rolling, trundling backwards. Throttling down because we've got a yellow light. That's the first. That's the first light. It's because I think obviously we're we're not at the end, but we're we're approaching the end bit of it. And I don't know because I don't know how far away a red light's going to be. We'll find out after. Yeah, the lights are fine. The problem is, is when you get, yeah, you got a yellow light. But does it mean we're going to have something close to a red light afterwards? I knew it'd be a while. There we go. We beep there. 1.6 miles Put it to 4 just to So we're enjoying on the other bit of track which is over here a sing I guess a single single lane Keep her going. Thing is, I don't want it to go too slow. This is me work trying to work out basically what's the best speed to to set the game at. How much throttle do I want to be throwing at? The... That's cool. That's nice. I like that. Sneaking through the gorge. Very nice, actually. But see, when you play games, people showed that Ride 4 video where they saying, oh, that looks really, like, almost real. And it was on a, basically a PS4. So I upgraded on a PS5. <coughs> and because it was raining and wet, if rain and all, weather's done really well when ever the surfaces are wet and stuff it can look more real than it did, did when it was before see there we've got a, a drop in speed coming up to 15 mile an hour we're not going that fast anyway we're going 19 
which is not bad. Kick up to fifth again, we'll just kick up a notch. Four is fifth will well keep it going I think at a rel relatively decent speed. That's the same when you play this game, especially if you're on the freight eh, ones, on the freight ones, you're not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry. Eh, there's another one there. I wonder if one of the scenario, scenarios will be like an avalanche or something. <laughs> You'll get diverted. Going a, a different way. I don't know. It's all the snow barriers. Because it's one of these places that's obviously fantastically hot in summer. It is fucking freezing during the winter. Because it's because it's so high up. It's not just. It's actually how far away from the equator or anything like that. It's because it's so high up. Mm. Fifteen mile an hour just kicks in as we get to the. We may be where we're going anyway, so. I don't know if anything is actually here, but uh, tell me to stop at that point. Can anything of interest? Must be something, cattle or, or something. Say like playing Red Dead Redemption or something <laughs> in the modern day. Where we coach to go flying past Arthur's and his cronies. Every did has so many bits are taken from that many different bits in, in America. Condensed into one, one map. And we're getting we're getting close to where we need to stop, so I think the easiest way is just to slowly throttle her down rather than anything else. Here's the time for the ass assets to load in. As I say, I think the detail in the putting these their games and that these days is a lot more than what it was previous, and I think it's because what you can do with the PS5 or the Xbox Series X compared to the older generations. Just how it physically looks. And if I'm con if I'm going uphill, it's going to stop quite quickly. It's going to, we're not going to for it to actually stop. It won't. I don't think that's going to be the issue. I don't think the issue is making the train stop. I think it's a case of trying stopping it on the mark. Because the back of the train is going to be roughly where I am now. I reckon. There are thereabouts. Mm. 
and another train whizzing past us. But I don't think he's stopping where he's going. I can up it to three just to just to keep her keep her going. I'm trying to think of it as I'm thinking right. Five hundred, four hundred yards. You just have to make it get there to where it's meant to be going. And if you haven't played it before, you don't know how fantastic the brakes or bad the brakes are. Because I'm going up the hill, I reckon the brakes are not too horrendous. This this other train here, he stopped now next to us. They tell me they want to do, do a, a, a nice hill start for us all. Getting there, a couple hundred yards. We were kind of lining ourselves up with the other train. If I need to put a wee bit of extra oomph in it, I will do, just to make sure. And just so I don't totally stop on the way up the hill. See, we're moving, as I saying, it's actually, it's, it's almost like, as soon as you get the train to go over one mile an hour, it will move. It's, uh, it's that initial get going kind of thing. Because I throttled it. Right. I stopped short of where I meant to be going. Cause, see, I thought I was rolling backwards, but the other train started moving. Come on. So this is the same issue you had at the start of it.
Come on, give me some movement. Really, this is kind of frustrating. He doesn't wheel spin. I just need that wee inch. Come on. Really annoying because I stopped short. So that's what I was thinking I was rolling backwards. I was. Then I started moving. The ancient forwards and then. Uh, You see him trying to inch it forward almost, but like willing it.
keep keep it up to say 60, 60, 16 yards. Okay, keep it up to 15 yards. Just This is a rubber band effect again. Nippy time. We'll get there in the next few weeks, guys. We've got to re it's just it's getting it going and that's that's the hard bit.
Go in there, we break on, we don't go backwards. Next, a yard. I'm just trying to get it to, to get it to before it starts wheel spinning. Come on, get there, come on Dave. There's no fault for getting a bit. Before rocking it back and forward here, come on. Really annoying just being short here. Really annoying, just can he just the way get there? I mean, he just
stuck at 14. The tension's just killing me here. Killing me is killing you. Six seems to be a good one to be at. Oh, it's, it's, it's decided I was close enough. Okay. Happy days. I was kind of happy on that one. You go, it decided it was close enough. Shan, Hamosa to Shan. So basically, we're going up and over. I think just basically connect, continuing from where we left off. Train, train length 1.6 miles long. Is that all? Right, 35 miles ago and a lot of it's downhill. So the fun bit will definitely be trying to to, to shift its bottom up the hill like I just did the now. It doesn't make a difference to the and we need the, the brakes to be F8 F4 Cut out Cut in Cut in, cool and Comes on If we can, right? So we want to run that one on because we're basically we're doing what we we're doing before, just a minute ago. Try, no, I want to take the handle out, I want to remove the handle. 
that's it. It's always a good thing. Right, so basically we're doing what we've done before. We got to where we were before. Trying to get a team Just try and get the thing to move, eh? Try to press the sander as well. This is not that difficult. Somebody give me a shove. It's 
when he says, sees he Come on, come on. Oh, I thought I was, was going to go. I thought I was going to go. I didn't, I didn't release the power because... The main reason I didn't want to release the power is... forward it's just really annoying because we when I move out one couple one scale over a mile an hour back and forward, as I say, like this big elastic band on it. Come on. That's what I'm trying to do, and try to obviously lower the the throttle. Oh, 
Vamos a que go en... I don't know how I need to watch or how, how to actually do this properly. It's really not exactly easy. I find you as soon as you, you, you drop the, the speed too much because you, you're trying to get a grip Keep the sander on all the time. Movement, guys. Got movement. It's got there. We've got there about 35 miles to go. All right, we've got our train that's a mile and a half. Tells you. Tells you in the startup thing how long the train is. One point six miles long. Six, six miles an hour guys we made it happy days how you many get this starting in the snow I really don't know mm. it's tough enough in the dry I like to think that they give me scenarios that are possible. <coughs> right, 35 miles to go. This might take about, I don't know what the speed limits are like, so it'll take, maybe take about an hour. We've still got to get over Sherman Hill. And we're not at Sherman Hill. Sherman Hill. Over here, there's a wee bit to go there. But we're, we're climbing, we're climbing, we're doing well. A tunnel coming up. I 
and it is it's almost like you have to go backwards to go forwards I wonder if that's the key they're almost like buckling everything into each other like a big sort of squeeze box and then pulling pulling forward I don't know there's obviously something that it just gets you going you know it just gets gets the train moving I might have to look at the train some guys uh, method is it sit there hope and pray that it starts moving like everybody else <laughs> Don't get me wrong, that's probably what it's like in real life, just pretty much. Now, did we put the lights on? It's here, air con. It's somewhere over here. I think there's a bit of in the tunnel. And there's a candle light up here. We're speeding. Just, just put a wee bit of braking on. Coming out now, we'll keep the, keep the wee light on. There's a have light on. Keep the lights on. Did need? I didn't think we when, didn't think we did after going through there. Uh, it was still kind of evens because a bit of going down the hill, but. Most of the train is going up all at the moment, but I'm just kind of... Trying not to let it catch me out in the speed. Because when I get most of the train over the other side, it will start speeding up, obviously. That's why I'm trying my best not to fluff it up. There we go. Right, throttle off, it's dynamic break time once once it, everything's over over the other side. I'm letting it go because what will happen is it will just it will start speeding up. Bit of throttle just to keep it going. It's actually because there's so much train behind me still coming up the hill. This is just trying to be ultra careful because after the thing will take off, the weight, just the sheer weight going down this hill. Do not want to stop. We're going to give it a wee bit more boost. Yeah, this is starting to build up quite heavily up. 
My theory was that most of the trains now starting to go over the other end. I just made sure that we didn't. I just don't want to shoot shoot the speed limit. the train and it's still there flip me that's a big train uh, most uh, most of it's still on the other side so a lot of it's still come up, up the hill It's what you can, I'm just going by what I can see basically. The big burning question can we get this to work in the snow? Pardon me. This time, most of it, most of the training must be over. Surely, obviously not. Slowing down. Not much though. Because in real, in real life, there must be offies. Careful coming down here. Doing well. Right, we've got higher speed limits. We can speed her up. Add a bit of throttle. Bring up to 40, so it doesn't need a lot because we're going downhill because the, the, the train's going to take off without much throttle. As I say, that's me there. That's that's the front end of the train. The back end hasn't gone through the other. Uh, even started going in, into the tunnel yet. <laughs> See, that's the wee bits where you you'll find signage and whatnot. I uh, see the train starting to pick up a bit of momentum now. This is a, this is a good this is a good day uh, one. This is a, quite a good map. I mean, most people don't want to have the same places. And the thing about the UK, at least with a lot of the trains and that, they're different. Lines are different. The ones we've been given in Germany, because they're, they're using more or less the same trains. That's why the routes are much, but to be honest, actually quite enjoyable. So we haven't reached the top yet. It must go back up again. Not going that way. I don't. I don't think there's anything going that way. But that it can go. I don't think anything in the game will go that way. 
No, station every I think it reckon it will then climb up the hill. Cause that's the top of the hill roughly about here. I don't know that's going off somewhere else. I mean there's so much stuff there seems to be a lot of things happening, but it doesn't seem to be it's things are like all these you bits like that, right? There's things like that. There doesn't seem to be any reason for it. You know, it's just like everything's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Dynamic breaking. Try and slow the train down a bit. I think once we got it going, it was always going to take about half an hour or so to get to the final destination. The yeah, noises. <laughs> We're still going. Most of the trains obviously come down now. Hi, thanks for watching. We're just uh, doing the new. New map on Train Sim World, which is Sherman Hill, and it's so lot of me to Cheyenne. And we get on. And it's sort of going up here, so. I see the vast majority of the train behind me is going down the hill until the train starts to lose its speed that's why I'm not going to so it's kind of confusing if it's there we go, it's starting to lose speed a bit of power hi up Thanks for watching, and um, we're just, as I say, we're looking at the new map on uh, Train Sim World 2, this is PlayStation 5. Now, this train is 1.6 miles long, so some bits of the train is going uphill, and now the rest of it is going downhill. Kind of, I'll show you on the map. That's me there. And that's the other bit of the train there. That's how far away it is. That's how big the train is. How are we getting on? If you like anything you see guys on, on the channel, hit like and subscribe. If you don't, it's up to yourself. But it's all a bit of fun. A bit chilling out, relaxing. I think it's just breaking it up almost sometimes. Just so that you know. But I, I think it's going to be interesting when they ask you to do it in uh, the snow. It's tough enough to get the train going not in the snow when it's dry. Yeah, it could be a challenge. Hill start on on Cheyenne, Sherman Hill, and uh, try and do it in the snow. Because it's kind of desert-ish. They'll get a bit of rain, but they don't get much. I like the views. Uh, and if you use out the train, they're actually really, really nice. Really cool. You know what? 
look how much they've actually made the background. I mean, the, the distance goes out, out, out for miles, you know. It just, they've done really well with the sort of vastness experience. Make it look vast and expansive, which obviously the area is. Twenty nine twenty nine miles as the crow flies. Most of that is down the hill. It's just twenty nine miles from there. A lot more a lot more than twenty twenty nine miles. So we're probably still looking a good hour before we actually get there. I'll see what it finishes as. Down from here is a book right from there. Here's a book. Now where I am, today are 17 miles. There's a book right from there. No dead street, but straighter than it is here. Um, we're coming to the top. We're actually going to throttle her down a little. There's this bit here, approximately, is we're just coming up to the summit of Sherman Hill. That in, that little indicator here should. I don't know if it's these bits there. Yeah, it's just something level off. Something. We, we obviously still need to haul it up the hill, so we'll just keep some throttle going. Oh, well, in case the speed to 55, so that helps. But I think the question is, can can you not stop it from going faster than 55 going down the hill? I'm not sure how steep it is, it's just the length and the weight of the train. Because most of the train is still going up the hill. I'm coming around the corner. Top's top's about there. See, the vast, still about a mile away for the, the rest of it to go up the hill. Because we're going pulling down the hill, we should be speeding up reasonably well. I keep a bit of throttle on the go. I'm just conscious of not trying not to make the train speed. I'm trying to be conscious of it anyway. <laughs> I mean, I'm just a small channel, a very, very small need. But um, I'll never get any of these things for free, as in. Try out this, try out that, I won't get anything like that. But I'll be honest, the main reason I like Train Sim World is if you want to relax and chill, it is ideal. It is an ideal game for that. Because you don't have to build up the the braking, see if the braking doesn't give up on me. Because obviously we're trying to stop the train from running away down the hill, 100,000 mi miles an hour. 
dynamic braking going on. I don't know how long that 55 mile an hour speed limit will last, but it certainly will help in uh, getting there sooner. It'll give me le less than an hour then than what I was thinking of. As I say, it's just the train just wiggles down the, the slope now. That's a wee loop, it's like, almost like... I don't know if it's a possibility that you could do a sort of switch back on that loop at any, any point. There is a... Certainly a scenario starting there. Because there's lots and lots of points. I don't know if it's a quarry or what. This is dynamic braking. Does it just uh, just about hit over the speed limit or come? Speed limit's forty. But we have to wait till the rear of the train goes past the f fifty-five. There's the fifty-five. But we need to, so the next 55 is in about a mile, just over a mile. Oh, why the rest of the train behind me still hasn't gone past that 55 zone, so it'll still be 40. Right, dynamic put to four. We're controlling the train pretty well at the moment. Is huge. <laughs> I don't think it loads all the train in. Watch this. So I'll. I'm going to zoom. The thing is, unfortunately, I can't make it go faster. I'll zoom. In. picture of the tree. right so we watch how far how long it takes me to get to the other end of this train now this cursor is not going to mean it's actually coming backwards with with the train I can't it doesn't seem to be be a way to make it go faster there's any other buttons you press it just If you were waiting until we get to the other end of the train where you can make a cup of tea or something. Yeah, so it's still a 40 mile an hour speed limit. I told you. We're waiting for that, that train to go past the other 55. Uh, I'll do it sh very shortly though. Oh, oh no, down the dynamic braking a wee bit to Wake me up when I get there Dave Because when I click on it to go to the cab See it's still loading it in, look it's still loading in the the train. Oh, no. I thought we got to the end. No, no, it was just more stuff getting loaded in. Still going. I don't know a way to speed up the cursor on, on the PlayStation. You can obviously use a mouse and keep mouse and that on the thing, and you can and it zips along quite merrily. It doesn't seem to have a building in the PlayStation. Of 
spirit to three just to stop it run, running away. See, I, I'm still, I'm still trying to get to the, the end of the train. Still going. Now, what they were saying they were doing on the PS4 and Xbox One, they were just basically halving the length of the train because there's no way any of them can handle just the sheer volume on it, what's going on. You get in there, eh? Look, you can see a train. We should be two, two engines, but uh, you know. I think getting getting them moving is just the the one of the hardest bits in the whole bloody game. There we go. That's it there. See, it take, stay long to me to get there. Come here, two minutes. Just to find the end of the end of the train. So as I go along, the rest of the train keeps uh, zooming on. Oh, this is this is this is good though. Uh, it's increased the dynamic. Now, so on on the. The brakes here because one and a half is quite steep. I think Matt says he was doing it and uh, his dynamic brakes gave up the ghost. That was a bit much for them. I say, thankfully, there's a uh, 55 mile an hour zone. It's all all the collectibles are just going to be dotted here, there, everywhere. It's like yeah, turn it here, try and find them all. I think they should give you a little quad or something. Some something just to nip along the side of the the train. Because this is going pretty much looks like the seas over there, eh? Because of the blue horizon. Just don't know it breaks even more. I'll do as much as I can and see, just to make sure the train is not going too so fast. I don't think it would go very fast up the hill, I think it would be a bit two mile an hour or something. And certainly on this, this bit here where it's one and a half, you certainly would not want to... As I say, this is, look how long it is it's taken, right? Full, full on down it breaks, full on. I think I'm getting to the other end. We need to slow down because we've got a 45 come up. We can obviously flick to the normal brakes as well when we, with the dynamic brakes included at the same time. Just to make sure. It sounds like they've got wee crickets and everything on the go. Maybe we do that in the, in the winter, surely. I'm still trying to get to the front end of the train. <laughs> yes, I could click on it and go inside, but then I wouldn't. My camera would be way back there. How about we getting two cameras on it? One at the rear, one at the front, outside. Hey, 
made it. Alright. We're going to keep the full on dynamic brakes. Uh, some of these bells are on the go again. I don't know if that'll turn it off, but the bells are on the go. Let's flick over to the other one, the other brakes, normal brakes, just in case. Because I suspect that this, how steep this is, we're going to have to revert to the normal brakes as well as dynamic brakes. That's better. We're slowing down. to get these brakes on the go you need dynamic and normal brakes seem to be the way because I think both I think the dynamics are still on the go you can tell by the little yellow 8 uh, whack that up come on no I'm not I'm going to need speeding Two mile an hour faster than what should be going. Right, come on. It's just this section, and at least I'm not going to derail it anyway. There we go. It says 45, but I'm going faster than 45. There right, we go. Under. As I said, I've got the dynamic brakes on the go as well still. Release that. I keep the dynamic brakes on the go. Get in there. As I say, we've got the, full, the dynamic, dynamic brakes on the go, full on, and the uh, and trains still spin up. This is, is trying to put as much onto it than now. You can tell by the, it's the V yellow bar, obviously, how much force is put into it. Go with this. I was watching a stream, I just caught a bit of it in the, on the guys that are from Train Sim the Train Simulator duff, dovetail games and that and they were and Matt's like, no I just gave up my dynamite brakes, I used the normal brakes <laughs> I don't know where that goes, but it's a wee. It's like it cools a bit out. Obviously, it loops around as like a quarry or something. Be all right now, you know, 55 mile an hour zone from that. But you just, yeah, we just have to watch how because it's going to take ages for the train to stop.
because I've seen them and they do it when you start from here the chain's snaking down here <laughs> it's just so long it's still 18 miles to go so I've got a good half an hour or so worth of gameplay still on the go we'll see what the next scenario is but this is definitely going on for a little bit we can check by pressing, pressing the button I tell me We're doing it for two hours which I think is long enough oh yeah thanks for watching uh, we're doing this is a second or third scenario. The one thing about this uh, is just getting the train moving. I think that's the hard part. Once the train's moving, it's fine. And you're standing still, and even on the flat, it seems to be nigh impossible to get the train to move. I'm just wondering if you need to nudge it backwards to go forwards. Right, Constantina the train, and then because the engines then oh, oh, got the full effect of the. Uh, oh, hi guys, thanks for watching. This is a continuation from the last scenario I was doing. I just put on full on because I've got to go down to 4 or 5 again. Hi Alex, how you doing? This is uh, Alex. This is a new add-on for Train Sim. Is it full on? All right. Right, we're definitely going to have to put old, old school braking in here. Right. I didn't put enough the last time on, and I didn't realise how much braking I was, it was requiring of me. I was trying to dynamic brake, and it just like, as you see, it just wasn't slowing the train down. Yeah. Exactly, Alex. It's not not exactly the most. The hard bit I found was actually just getting the train to move. It's and it seems to be. Oh, what am I doing? To me, it seems to be what you want to do. A dynamic train brakes just start kicking in once I've once the other brakes stop. Once you get the train moving, it's fine. I'm having a thought to myself. See if we see before moving off. If you reversed it back, obviously not if you're trying to get up the hill. Reverse it up, up backwards on the flat, and then moved it forward. It's, it's just getting it, the train to have enough grip. Dynamic brakes are not not helping. Yeah. I need both. Both dynamic brake and normal brakes here. Try and keep it on from going uh, too too fast. 
I'm sure I heard Matt saying from uh, when he had the, the train going about 90 mile an hour down the hill. That might be an exaggeration, but I think it wouldn't surprise me. Now, if it was Sam, I'd understand. Sam is mad as a brush and he has his own channel if you watch enemies this Sam's own channel I thought we could turn all the bells off. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I was obviously speeding a wee bit there. Get in there, get in there. And it's when you see the whole train in that, it's massive. Now, it doesn't load the whole train in there. That's actually, that train is still going. I'll show you on my map. That's what you're seeing roughly about there, in that part of the train. And then here's the rest of it. So it's loading about half the train in. So it looks shorter than it actually is. That's the bit that's going to be so coming up here, not coming down. Going down, you want you don't want to go on fast anyway. If you watch, it keeps loading the train on here. The train's constantly getting loading up ahead of me. We'll put it to 50. I wasn't sure how much I was going to enjoy this. It's actually quite good fun. I think it's just the immense... I think it's just the immenseness of it all. It's actually huge. The huge train. I says you got a train that's a mile and a half. You're just like, Woo. oh, it's not loading the other train up now, so I'm just getting to the end of the other train. I'm getting there. Because uh, then I'm breaking just to stop it from speeding too much. <laughs> As I say, it just looks like it's near the sea because that looks like a coast. And then you get a dark blue bit, which is the sea, and then the sky. Even though it's not not the sea.
It's actually been in the cab, it's actually great. I love it. I love the cab. You can read all the notices. Do not crash under pain of death. I had a, a mayor right at the beginning because I, I'm. I was like, Why? I don't know what I was asked to do, and it, it just wouldn't. And then I, I had a bit of a crash. It amuses everybody, doesn't it? Let's get the throttle on the, on the go again. Seems to. I'm just five miles off the speed limit and it's I just want to make sure it's all good I don't want to be going too fast I can see Alex, I'm glad you were enjoy you've been enjoying the new add on. Hi guys. I'm just watching the immenseness of the train now. Essentially what it does here, it stops loading it in and then don't see any more. Just goes into our eyes and the train is a lot longer. Earlier on the on the, the scenario, was, I'm doing I've done a flyby of the train, zooming forward to try and see how long it takes me to get from one end to the other. At least two minutes. That's just the main size of the of the train. 10 miles to go, for some uh, 20 minutes. It just depends on 15, 20 minutes, it just depends how fast we can go. Because it's all sort of kind of downhill, but we're not trying to go so fast down the hill that we find itself in the oblivion. But yeah. That's what I try not to, I try not to go too fast. I like the interior, and it's really nice. Cool. As I say, we can stop the bell on this train, but not all the others. The, the, tra the bell just seems to keep going. It doesn't seem to be many lights on the on the on route. See, it's more or less a straight line now to where we're going. So you got ten miles. It's nine and a half, but if you take the a wee bit of the angle. I'm letting it coast, kind of coast down the hill quite merrily. Not entirely, because if we coasted it properly, it has no braking, we're going a bit lickety splittity. You don't want that. Right. Trying to control my descent. Like a good boy.
Yeah, I like the views you get from the cab, and it's, it's quite relaxing. It's like, ah, it's like a wee Sunday drive in the country. Even though Scotland doesn't look anything like Wyoming. Scotland's are usually a bit wetter than this. Now, uh, when it's snowing, I, I, don't, I, <coughs> I would understand. We tend not to have big massive planes like that. We tend to have trees and lots of them. I think the two scenarios is giving me a nice, nice wee look at the thing at the train because they're going to have a what I'll do is I'll actually have a wee look at how long all the scenarios they've got going anyway. Let's see how many. It's the time. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock here anyway. So as I say, I've had this going for a good two and a half to three hours. I mean, two and a half at least when I finish this anyway. So certainly the fun bit would be just trying to watch me trying to get the train to move. That's where most of the things that seems to be happening I'll leave that then out and use that I need a touch of that ah, that's better and just we can just the speed I've got the train going up to is pretty much speed limit so going down the hill is fine so going up the hill Yeah, you tend to need to, it seems to be the case, so we need to use both dynamic and normal braking. Just the sheer volume of train coming down the hill here. You can think of the views, nice reflections of the sky, you know. Clouds, clouds. Just wee touches, that's cool. Slow me down, slow me down. I was thinking about it. Just a uh, rail yard or some industrial oil yard, uh, fields or something. It's just it's got the tankers on it. And that'd be somewhere you maybe go, come out, and then go down to the main, main, main bit because it's I suspect it would have scenarios or something like that rather than just continually. I don't think that's when obviously that comes around and you go over the top of it or underneath it. Speed limit's going down to 40, so we need to keep this reducing its speed even though I'm two and a half miles away. Just 
just be, you, I'm just, as they you can never see the end of your train. It doesn't load it in. It doesn't load in the end of the train. Because it's too long. It loads in about half the train. When I mean about half, maybe a third. Hmm. See, it's still coming down this massive hill. I think it just takes you as long as it takes you. We'll look at how long it says the scenario should be lasting for. But I think it should be, this is how long the scenario should last for once you get yourself moving because that's that is one of the harder bits it doesn't matter if you're on the flat or on the hill it is so hard to get the train actually to move go now forward direction this is why I think this might be the, my last wee bit of this stream, actually. Because I think most of the scenarios are going to be about an hour long. I don't think there's many switchbacks or anything like that. Just can playing around in the yard. Should be alright, it'll, it'll speed up again. But obviously, it's getting a lot less. Oh, it's a little less steep. It's like you say, can, does it give you ideas of things to design the city skylines? So it's like, oh yeah. I've been on here for about two and a half hours, guys. But this is my second scenario. So I'm going to call it a night on the, on the, on the game playing. Um, primarily just because it's getting a bit late. And... And I'm guessing if I do another one, it's going to be... It's going to take a wee while just to... And it's going to be another hour or so on the next. Just keep slowing her up because there's only, I've only got 2.3 miles to go. It doesn't seem like it's a, a, a lot. Why are you slowing down now? Uh, yeah, because it takes train takes ages to slow down. And I, I think by most trains, when you get to the sort of ten mile an hour, yes, it will stop quite merrily. But it's, it's getting this down to that sort of speed. It takes, it takes a little bit of time. So it's a lot of like army trucks and that going past. Is there an air base or something going past? Yeah. Somewhere near B? That's just saying that's like an army truck or something.
something happening over there anyway. I say, watch how long it takes me to go past this train, because I reckon it's a train similar length to this one. I bet it's nearly a minute. I'm watching the back end there because I'm looking at it still loading in. <laughs> Obviously I'm slowing it down, I'm no one to go too fast. I've got down to sort of 20 mile, 23, 24 mile an hour so that's a good thing. You don't want to be coming in hot. And you'll never stop. It's funny on my last scenario, I stopped fractionally just before I should just stopped, and then I think I was about a couple of yards away and twelve yards away from it, and decided to say, "Nah, we'll just give it to you. You're all right, son." We've been watching you hilarious, hilariously trying to stop the train on the, on the money and then you, you fluffed it. <laughs> yeah, it's really sad. I'll build up a bit in a piece, but... See, I'm just make, make the train take its time. But they've done lots of detailing in this. You know, as I said, the length of that train is huge, it's massive. So I'm just going to finish this scenario for tonight and then we're going to call it. And I, so thanks for watching guys and um, if you like what you see on the on the channel hit a like subscribe it if you wish and we'll come back to you another time see any comments positive or negative fair enough if you don't understand me it's because I'm Scottish I'm using that as an excuse hi folks welcome aboard I'm just Finishing off this scenario for tonight, and if you want to watch it again, you can watch watch it back. Because I've done I've done two scenarios tonight, and essentially the both scenarios will show the full length of the the route. You're kind of getting up, more or less, the, not quite the top of Sherman Hill. Get there, and then. The train will have to still. You still had to start it from the hill start. Great, thanks. I no, I don't want to go through the red light. Let's get some braking going. This is what I'm saying about taking your time on this for the braking. I think is very much a requirement. You don't want to be going fast. Re we'll release it. Because I don't want to be going fast. I don't want to uh, go through the red light. Especially when there's only about 10 yards in it. The difference between that red light and and this I just try and make it really awkward and difficult for you slow her down. Is it 
just means really, really cautious. Main, main reason I'm being cautious with it all is because of that red light is hardly any distance from where I'm meant to be stopping. And this takes a bit of stopping. So we're being cautious here, guys. Understandably. And see, there's only a couple of hundred yards to go, so nearly there. See some civ civilization now, rather than in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I just don't want to go through that red light. And the main reason being because if you do it, can we do this? Can we go save? Right, let's see if it saves it from there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's silly, I know, but trust me, the last thing you want to do is find yourself because you've went through a red light and it's taking you an hour and a half to get here and then you go hmm I think I, 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 I think I want to stop before the red light please see how long this is taking to get the the, the brakes on the go I think it gives you a, a sort of, if you're close enough, it'll, do, it'll call it, it's okay. See, I was 10 yards there short of it, but it went, ah, you're fine. Because it knows, it knows how difficult it is. So we'll have a wee look, I'm going to have a wee look at the services, essentially. Something old, something new. So as I say, you got ones where it's obviously snowing and it's raining and that. We just pretty explore scenarios. Right, something old, something new. That's Right, so it's going basically from, I think, Homosa to... I don't know if it means that you go two ways or what. You're going down the other track. Oh, switcheroo. Right, so it's just, that's a... So Basically doing just a bit of back and forward. Right, so there's the Granite Canyon quarry. You do do that wee loop, as I did say before. It's, it's, it's a quarry, so we've got to go... Do we go down and then go back out? Help out a train struggling to climb the grade. So basically, we're going. I think we're getting a train and then probably that. It's how the cement works. So I don't think that's too far. I don't want to start. I was trying to see if you could make the wee map move around, but I was trying to do that. It's a short one, but I... Uh, see, 
It is a short one. It's yeah, like light of me, and then you go over the back and forth or something or something. So, right. Quit. I just want to keep looking. I'm just trying to look at the all the like scenarios and stuff that they've got us for on the, on the game. So that's just a short one. That's a long one. Uh, it's, it's magnet for trouble. So it's hundred minutes. It's just over an hour and a half. It's basically it looks like you're going from basically one end to the other end. And there's some more switching. I'll tell you what to do. Right, so there's 121 in the timetable. 121. So we've got. Is one year and the other one bigger? That one's on. SD40, that's. So similar to the ones that are in the uh, sand patch grade. This one this is. Is it just a slightly different livery somewhere? Or type of train? I think it's a variation, obviously. And that's the the newer up to up to date local. So you got the, the, if you're doing the full length, they're looking about an hour and a half. Saying basically an hour, an hour, that was meant to be a 55 minutes from there to there. Maybe 55 minutes once you start moving. That's the fun bit. Longest, what's the longest one? Shy of two hours, depends what you're doing, eh? What you're, what you're, you're, you're proceeding to do. As I say, it just depends what you've got to do. So it's, it's different, and I think obviously these, these times are the side are just guides how long it's going to take you. But, uh, yep, quite cool. Um, I'm trying to see if you can... see. So, see, I don't know how many of the stuff is going to hide in the depots to collect all the pickups and. So that's the quarry. Right, so what are the collectibles? Snow shawls. It's like fence repairs. Warning sign. Something else. I can't see what the other one is. <coughs> Symbol. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you again another time. This is about to be quite enjoyable. If, if you want to see more, let me know. Hit like and subscribe to the channel if you wish. And we'll catch you again another time. See you later, guys. Bye for now.